Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is February 8th, 2023, and tonight's banner is a pretty interesting one. But before we get into the nitty gritty details of this awesome, amazing suit, let's go over some news. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Desert Zaku Desert Rommel version coming out. But before we get into that and its subsequent supply drop, we have a limited supply drop promotion for the Zeku Ainz Type 1. Now, if you don't have this lovely 550 native raid, it's a pretty nasty suit. Pretty buff and bulky and, well, you gotta have it. So the nice thing about it is the supply drop does give you a chance for both not only the level one, not only the level two, but the level three as well and its subsequent weapons. So you have some spare tokens lying around. This is your chance to get this for a limited time only. In addition to that, we also have a special celebration campaign for the good old Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt TV broadcast celebration which we'll get into a little bit they're also doing a an event for the recon crates increasing the chance of getting a container during a match from 10 percent all the way up to 25 percent which is pretty cool you get some free tokens free suits free parts you name it definitely a cool thing also some changes to the recycle counter which includes we are getting the efreet schneid level three there. I think that brings it to 650, if I'm not correct. Please correct me if I am wrong. I know it's one of those high cost ones, even though I think this is also a 550 native as well. Pretty cool suit. Very similar to the Noct and some of the other uh, Ifrit brethren that it shares a lot of the movesets from. We are also getting the level 4 Super Gundam in the DP counter. That's pretty neat. Jumping into the celebration for the Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt campaign, uh, this will give all pilots the level 1 version of the Full Armored Gundam and the Psycho Zaku Thunderbolt level 1. Um, if you do have this in possession, you'll just get the recycled tickets as a result. Alright ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned earlier, tonight's banner is the 2 star 400 cost raid Desert Zaku courtesy of Desert Rommel from the ZZ series. Now this is a customized Zaku before he converted over to the Dwaj Custom, which we got later around the same time as the Double Zeta banner. Uh, there is no additional data, as they mentioned here, about the base type of the mobile suit since there's no accurate counts of this unit, but it's based on a lot of modifications. So um, this is a MSV suit, if I'm not mistaken. But this also has unique looking spikes, a specific fighting style, plus the the waj hand, uh, hand axe, the double bladed axe. So, you know, this is probably going to be pretty nasty. Uh, I would almost say probably an instant knockdown for that most part. And you do have a special uh, special shield claw tackle. That's pretty neat as well. Um, but it is a only ground type suit, so it does limit you on you know, where you can take this, obviously. In addition to that, uh, doing a 10 spin will yield a specific uniform for it, as well as the uh, Desert Rommel turban that they have for the North Africa core of this uh, Xeon Remnant suit. In addition, we also have a half off promotion for the boosted supply drop. So if you've been saving up and you don't have quite enough tokens saved up for a full 10 pull for the suit, I would probably jump on the 50% off. It is probably the better value. Or if you want to just not spend a whole lot and you want to save for the next four star that possibly could be coming out in the near future, we never know. This is definitely up in that alley as well. On top of that, if you do feel like splurging a little bit, maybe you got a, you know your tax return early or something of that sort you can go down the uh, supply drop line, get a chance to get higher materials during the first two steps, as well as some three star steps uh, towards the end of that supply drop thing here. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, at the time of this recording portion of the video, we are still unable to log in on the NA side of things, and I just don't have the time to re-download the JP client. So we're looking at some of the basic stats that we have for the nitty gritty behind the Desert Grommel custom of the Desert Zaku, and it is pretty nasty as a two star raid. Literally looking at the stats and that's just that's pretty scary to to look at considering that stock you have 17k HP pretty much 20s in both melee and ballistic with a weakness in beams which could be addressed or he probably supplemented with more just unga bunga ness uh, as some of the comp, comp players might start doing considering that numbers wise this looks very similar to the clan match version of the desert zaku as well which is kind of crazy to even consider both of them in the same cost range now and you can see people already uh in my mind uh cosplaying with this already buster gauge at 60 which is plenty to work with you probably don't necessarily need more although more would make this even more scary to begin with as well as the fact that this has a turning speed of 69 which is nice which also means that this thing's going to be nimble as hell to say the least looking at the uh, custom part slots that it has it definitely favors a lot more close to mid range type of capabilities so i can tell that this is probably going to be one of those suits that is just going to wreck people in melee uh even the uh melee the handheld blow that it has physical blows that it has has a base of 18 and these are enhanced so on top of uh suits that have disadvantage type against it like supports man i just want to play it plus it has a lot of the same similar items that the uh, regular desert zaku has and it has a midline option too with the long range machine gun uh, Zaku machine gun that the recon type and the sniper type Zaku's use. So this is going to be um, this is going to be a very flexible unit, something very very scary that people are going to have to address very quickly. Uh, but I can assure you that you know once we get our hands on it, it'll be something to uh, definitely get, do some videos on. All right, going over its skills, it has a balancer. You know, typical raid things, maneuver armor 2, booster, uh, assault booster level 2, offensive system level 1. Has a 3 hit combo, which I believe is more with its handheld. I'm assuming the Dewaj Axe, the double bladed heat axe that it comes with, just like the regular stock uh, Desert Zaku clan match version, is only going to be a uh, single melee, so you're going to either commit to a downswing or go with that neutral. Uh, has power accelerator level 2. Interact, interrupt tackle one. Uh, your typical leg shock absorbers has anti blast as well and buffers for that right shoulder. It does have a shield claw tackle, so what makes this pretty scary on top of everything else is that it increases the attack, uh, the tackle attack power by 200%. Using a tackle while the thruster gauge is not depleted will extend the distance it travels and increase its attack power. So, meaning you could just be running, walking, whatever and you know whatever figures that jp has that i'm not fully versed on you tie that together this thing's gonna be just wrecking people so yeah i don't, I don't know oh, i would love to play it <laughs> at some point so we'll definitely have to do a, a couple recaps on this probably i'll probably do okay at first running this and then we'll probably have one that's a little more optimized once I get feedback off of my initial run. So that'll be it for tonight's banner news. If you guys found this very informative or found it useful and liked how what you heard and saw and you know, overall, I thought I did a pretty good job. Definitely, please do not hesitate that hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure the bell notifications are enabled. It definitely helps out the channel until guys. I will see you guys all on the next video.